Well, Mike is still in Australia. And there's a team tournament up here at Horsetooth. And I'm going to brave it by myself again. There's even going to be more formidable sticks this time than there was last time. You know, here's the problem. I, so I practiced it, boy. Every tournament that I've practiced at this season, I've done well. Uh, I practiced at Horsetooth once, and I won one. I practiced, at, Mike and I practiced at Swanson, and we took third place. I practiced at Boyd, and I took second place. I practiced at McConaughey. I didn't take a check there, but I developed the winning pattern, and Kirk, out of the back of my boat, put on a clinic. Uh, so, the problem is, is that I do well when I practice. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't practice. And when I don't practice, I don't do well. That means I have not been up on this lake in a month or longer. I, don't, I actually don't remember when the last tournament was, but I haven't been there here since then. And I heard the water went up, and I've heard it's come back down since then. So the water fluctuation has been all over the place. Uh, it's my understanding they're hard to find. They're kind of spread out. Big ones are really hard to come by. And I have to figure it out in four hours to where there's guys that have been practicing days up here. So uh, we're going we're gonna to give it a whirl and give it our best shot. But there's some clouds rolling in. I know this time of year, right in that last 45 minutes to hour window, you can wolf pack these things. They come up feeding on cross, pushing bait shallow, and you can get right in a hurry. So maybe if I can put together four or five keepers, just keepers, and then wolf pack a couple at the end of the night, I can put myself in contention. But that's the game plan. That's what we'll have to do. And hopefully I can put more fish into this video than just three. So we will see what the night holds. I'm about ready to come over the bend. We'll see what this water level thing is all about because I came prepared for everything. I brought all the rods. They all have different things tied on. Uh, we're going to see. Here we go. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Wow, oh, water's still really high. Gosh, I was told it was four feet higher than this just a few days ago. If it was high, this is high. This is basically full. So here we go. I'm going to give it a whirl. I don't know what today's date is. It's like the first, August 1st, 2019, horse tooth. Right. Like they want you to have money to be a, like I'm a broke college student and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rods. That's why you're broke college student. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yesterday afternoon I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the tree was in the water last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> like that much. Okay. Yeah. Oh goodness. Because it's still up, up. Like a lot. They pulled the plug. Yeah. Well, in the morning, the guys were moving the dock. Like the Ranger right. moved up, moved the dock. And I was thinking, like, oh, it's still coming up. And then later, they're, they're, like, they're moving oh, no, them down. <laughs>
13 and 3. Hopefully, I don't get the first cast jinx on that one. First cast curse. So, anyway, number one, right away. Also be talked out of my ass, but that's the right kind. The number of those I've caught tonight is ridiculous. See? I probably should have measured that last one. I probably should have been measuring all of these. That's actually 12 inches. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. That's no good. I mean, I've caught a bunch of these. <laughs> Oops, Daisy. I probably would have had a limit by now. I didn't realize those were 12. <laughs> oh well, it's not going to win, but. At least we'd had five by now. There's 30 minutes left. I really got to find a wolf pack, and I only have four. Uh, probably should have five. So anyway, wish me luck. Sorry, I'm not gonna be able to get on camera. Ranger's already driven past me twice, and I need to get the light in. Atta 
Sam's not going to come up with some like four no pounder bad. from Carter in there. You know? no, there's, no, no, there's like a five or six or something. What's six out of one ten? What did that weigh? Four and a half. Sean caught a 13 inch that weighed 0.68. Oh. <laughs> There's like nothing. There's nothing oh, to it's that. Good. Like that's when you need to pull it open yeah, right there. Yeah. 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 It's really close. <laughs> Donnie, bag. 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 Drone shot. <laughs> wow, we're giant. Oh, very cool. Shake it. Oh. 193. Wow. <laughs> you got it. Is that the current leader? That's the current leader. Alright, scales are closed. The leader before that was the Three or three or something. Alright. Trust me. <laughs> they're, they're good, but. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. All, the rest of the rest are all like this. Dang it, we're gonna have to put that out of here. Oh no, they're all they're all. That's what it is. I believe it. Yeah, 64th of an inch to spare. This one, this is my giant. Wow, that's maybe. I'm not sure you remember. John, you're supposed to have a measuring board in your boat. I did. I was just, I was going to pull those three out and everybody's going to be like, wait a minute. No, no, that's what we all got, bro. 5'11". I went over five. That is very impressive. There you go. Thank you. Thank you.